one of our lieutenants came across a crash in the middle of the road. Uh, he suspects one of the drivers is intoxicated, so we're going to come do the DUI investigation for him. Hey, sir, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? So you got a little blood on you. Everything all right? I got blood? Oh, is that blood or right here? You bleeding from your mouth? I just say it. Oh, yeah, that's a hot sauce then. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That is not blood. No, OK, so that's hot I sauce. I just came from the hot they OK. Were, uh, uh, cool, you got your license on you? Uh, What's up, LT? What's up, man? Thank that's you. That's his uh, ID there. This is the other subject. Okay. He rear-ended. Okay. So I got him off the roadway. That he's. Uh, I actually drove his car over here because he's in no condition to be behind the wheel. Yep. Come out here for me. If you walk right over here, all right? Uh -huh. We're gonna walk right over this way. Yeah. Put your right foot in front of your left, and then just stand there. I would take. I would take a drug test for you. Yeah. Okay, well, I would, I would rather do these real quick, if you're all right with that, unless you don't want to. Well, I think I would pass a drug test. Okay. Because I have, I just have bad balance. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can try this. If you're willing to try, I would prefer that. Um, and then we'll go, go on if we're going to do a blood test from there, okay? Okay. Yeah, if you'll go ahead and put your right foot in front of your left for me, touching heel to toe. All right, just like that. Okay, all right. Hey, if you'll do me a favor, come back, sit right up front with me, all right? We're gonna, we're not gonna do these, okay? I'm worried you might fall, okay? Let's come right back here. Uh, and you haven't had any alcohol today? No, Just your normal medication? Yes. Sir. All right, man, you're being placed under arrest. We're driving under the influence, okay? I just said I would take a drug test. Yep, we'll offer that in a second, all right? We started fit standardized field sobriety with one of the drivers. He was unable to complete them, so he's been placed under arrest for driving under the influence of either uh, medication or illegal drugs. He admitted to medication, but there's still a chance there's something else. So the reason is you just don't feel like I'm able to drive. I feel like I feel like you're you're impaired to the level that I wouldn't feel comfortable with letting you drive away. Am I slurring? A little bit, yeah. I feel like I talk like this all the time. Find a uh, syringe cap. cap. Needle. I'm not sure what this is, to be honest with you. I don't know if you've seen anything like that. Could be THC stuff that he puts in his vape, um, but I can't tell. This is an ashtray, but it's got some white residue in it. Uh, it could be holding pills. Or there's no telling. Yeah. It, so. Yep. Hello, ma'am. Knock out this crash for you real quick. You're doing better than last time I saw you, right? I am. Good. Thanks to you. Yeah? <laughs> you mean that sarcastically or yeah, what? No, I mean seriously. If you wouldn't have arrested me, I would have never gotten sober. Good? So. For, real? For real? Hey, that's awesome. I've never had that. Normally <laughs> people hate me still. I mean, so. I don't think that I like you, but I, I'm I mean, grateful yeah. God put that's you in fair. my life. If I'll that take that. Sense. I'll take that. Awesome. I'll get this crash taken, ca taken care of and I'll get you out of here, okay? Thank you. I arrested her maybe a year and a half ago for possession of drugs and uh, just walking up and talking with her. She, obviously, she wasn't great, to ha wasn't happy to see me, but she did thank me for arresting her and said I helped clean up her life. So that was, that was pretty special for me.